Thank you very much for joining me. My name is Greg Fallon. I'm the Vice President of Strategy and Marketing here at Autodesk for our design and manufacturing industry. I'd like to talk to you today about the future of design and manufacturing, or as we like to call it, the future of making. It's a great time to be in the design and manufacturing industry. This industry is at a point in time with massive changes, disruption, and challenges. But at the same time, this gives all of us a huge opportunity. All of these challenges driven by global trends, some of them new, some of them happening for many years, are disrupting what we do. Changes in capabilities, expectations, changes to products, and changes to the global population are changing the way we design things and what we make. We at Autodesk make software for people that make things. If you've ever driven a high performance car, admired a towering skyscraper, used a smartphone, or watched a great film, chances are you've experienced what millions of Autodesk customers are doing with our software. Autodesk gives you the power to make anything. Our vision is to help people imagine, design, and make a better world. This past year, we crossed three and a quarter billion dollars with close to 5 million users and close to 10,000 employees globally. Today, there are over seven and a half billion people living here on earth. The global middle class is growing faster now than at any point in history. Close to 50% of the world's population is now considered middle class and, consume, and can consume everyday goods. By 2020, there'll be 10 billion people on this planet a middle class that's close to 5 billion. Two thirds of them will live in cities. All these people need means of communication and transportation. They need clean water, energy, food, houses, bridges, roads. They need products from refrigerators to cell phones. The growing population creates demand to produce all of these products. Last year, there were th over 370,000 new product intro uh, introductions. The pace of new product introductions is expected to grow in the coming years as the global population grows. The need for more is inevitable. But at the same time, we see shortages. Shortages in natural resources and a growing skills gap. Four out of 10 manufacturers called the shortage of skilled workers one of their most pressing challenges. Aging populations in mature countries are amplifying the problem. And we're wasting scarce resources. 70% of all spare parts are never used. They sit in stock and are wasted. Less is a reality. We cannot continue as we do today. We need to produce more products to serve a growing population with less negative impact on the planet. This is a massive challenge, but addressing this fundamental capacity issue is also one of the biggest opportunities our industry has ever faced. The good news is that innovation is driving change. The things that we make are becoming smarter, these new intelligent machines will be smarter and will use less resources to operate. The way we make them is changing as well. Robotics, additive and hybrid manufacturing are creating new ways of digitally creating designs. As a result, the way we work is changing as well. Making smarter things with new digital technologies requires new skill sets. At the heart of Autodesk's vision for the future is automation. Where some see a future that is scary, where automation kills jobs, we at Autodesk see a future that is bright, where human strength and ingenuity are augmented, where, we're, where we make better use of energy and materials, a future that offers better health and resilience, better work and more prosperity, where humans work hand in hand with machines. Automation holds great promise to make us more effective at our jobs, to make us better engineers, better designers. Automation will help us meet the daunting challenges that we face as a global society. 
It'll help us design and make the products that will help a global growing global population thrive while we save our planet. There's a lot to get excited about in this new future of making. New production methods like 3D printing, connected machines, robotics, and new materials. To realize this promise, manufacturers are investing heavily in software and computing. This year, our sector will spend over $580 billion on IT. This investment is delivering amazing returns, like the innovative wheels on the coolest VW bus ever. But not all of us work for companies that have factories that look like this, yet. For most com companies, factories aren't populated with banks of 3D printers or dancing robots. For most of us, the factories that we know look a lot more like this. And with the disconnected software solutions that are commonly used to develop and produce products, our workflows look like this. People, data, and tools are disconnected. Collaboration means sharing files through emails, spreadsheets, thumb drives, and even post-it notes. It's messy and it's complicated. The result of this complicated mess is waste. Wasted material and energy, wasted inventory, up to 70% of the spare parts never leave the shelf, and it results in wasted time. Roughly one third of an engineer's time is spent on tasks like recreating data, recording data in different places, searching for versions, communicating changes. How many of you have wasted hours or days working on the wrong file, only to find out that you have to start over? There's a gap between what can be and what is. Finding the opportunity for better starts with two words, what if? What if you could make better products using less material? What if you can make trade-offs between cost, manufacturing time, material, aesthetics, and functionality all at the same time? What if you didn't have to search through thousands of emails to find the latest version? What if you could collaborate with your team on a design from any place on earth? What if is the question that drives the opportunity of better? Better starts with making connections, with breaking down silos, bringing design and manufacturing closer together. It starts with data at the center, making it easy to share and connect it with every stakeholder at every stage of the process. Connecting workflows, design, mechanical engineering, electronics, simulation, and manufacturing so that your entire team can collaborate seamlessly. Connecting engineering directly to manufacturing with generative design, Delivering valid options to choose from, confident that your results will be viable for production. Bridging the gap between designers in the studio and machinists on the top floor. Reducing waste, rework, connecting everyone in your factory and your factory to your external supply chain. Giving you actionable insights that you can use to get your product to market faster. This is the convergence of design and manufacturing, it's the future of making. At Autodesk, we're passionate about enabling the opportunity for better. We're helping companies connect their workflows, automate their processes, and easily network with your entire supply chain. What if all software worked together, regardless of who made it? It's no longer about what if, it's about what is. Using the Autodesk Ford Cloud Platform, we're making it possible to easily connect multiple data sources and solutions. With this platform, we're unlocking the potential of teams to connect, automate, and network inside their companies and beyond. Our recent partnerships with a priori and ANSYS enhance the Autodesk generative design capabilities in Fusion 360, are great examples of how we can leverage our Forge platform to allow seamless interoperability and drive revolutionary design and engineering agility for third parties. A priori is the leader of shape-based costing. Through this partnership, engineers can make cost trade-offs early in the design process using Autodesk Generative Design Utility that displays the cost of each individual design option on the screen. Our partnership with ANSYS automatically connects our Generative Design Utility 
to ANSYS's leading simulation tools so that dot designs can be validated as soon as they're created. Let's take a look at how generative design and additive manufacturing are changing the nature of work for engineers. GM worked with us to explore a prototype for this part. It's a seat belt bracket that has nine components. Based on the goals and constraints, <clears throat> generative design automatically created viable design options for General, Motor to General Motors to choose from, taking into account performance and manufacturing manufacturability. Generative design helped the General Motors engineers explore hundreds of options in a matter of hours. These are 100 valid design options that meet the functional requirements and are fully manufacturable. Compare that to the three months that it would take to come up with a single design option using the manual design processes they typically use. With generative design from Autodesk, GM came up with a solution that was almost impossible for humans to design. But a human did, using generative design, working side by side with the machine. The end result was a design that was 40% lighter than the previous design and 20% stronger. Not only this, but it's now printed as a single part rather than an assembly. The combination of additive manufacturing and generative design is enabling General Motors to make parts that are more lightweight and more fuel efficient and less complex. Autodesk is not just changing the parts that GM makes, it's changing their vehicles their supply chain, their production processes, and their entire ecosystem. GM's focus on innovation helped them create a better bracket. And this is just one component. What if GM could apply the benefits of generative design and additive manufacturing to the other thousands of components that make up a car? As we look to tools like generative design and additive manufacturing to help us design amazing new parts, there's more. Digital tools make it easier to create replacement parts on demand. This example is showing the process of importing a scanned part into Fusion 360, repairing it, and preparing it to be printed. This concept of 3D printing spare parts on demand is becoming a reality at the port of Rotterdam. The port wanted to differentiate by fundamentally changing the way that ship maintenance is done. In a typical maintenance scenario, expensive spare parts are produced in advance and remain in stock, sitting idle until demand is there. And even then, the parts are often in the wrong place, sitting on the other side of the world. The port created a manufacturing facility called Ram Lab and introduced robotics, additive manufacturing, and self-learning AI algorithms to manufacture replacement parts at the point of demand. Here you see a propeller being 3D printed and machined and placed onto a tug and it, so that it's fully certified to go to sea. What if wasted spare parts sitting on shelves was a thing of the past? Hybrid manufacturing is also being explored for custom fabrication in the architecture and construction industries. This is the large scale additive subtractive integrated modular machine called LASIN, a massive hybrid manufacturing machine with metal additive and subtractive capabilities. Its, development, its developers project the system will reduce manufacturing time and cost by 20% and increase productivity for high volume additive manufacturing production by 15%. Funded by the European Union's Horizon 2020 Research and Innovation Program, the LASIN is designed to 3D print metal parts and structures for construction as large as two meters in diameter and up to six meters long, weighing up to 2,000 kilograms. Foster and Partners is one of 10 partners in the LASIN project. Autodesk is the lead software provider. The additive construction process for this cantilever beam began with a single steel plate with components welded on layers. The team also used generative design workflow, evolving a set of constraints to automatically create a set of designs that resulted in the beam you see. My final video is from an Autodesk partner 
this group should be well familiar with. Laser Melting Innovations and Professor Schleifenbaum. Additive manufacturing is a key technology within the next years and for companies it's crucial to build up their own process knowledge and we at LMI want to empower those companies and be part of the revolution of additive manufacturing. The companies struggle with the decision to invest in those additive manufacturing processes because they have two problems. The first one is the financial risk and the second one is not enough educated employees. Our vision was actually to bring additive manufacturing into the masses. So companies and uh, universities are able to build up their own knowledge within this technology and generate their own competitive advantage. And that was the basic idea to really get to the democratization of metal 3D printing by offering a, a very low cost machine which then allows them to get into that ecosystem. Our machine is not only easy to operate and very cost efficient, but you're also able to generate high quality, fully functional parts out of a digital model, which is uh, mind blowing to most of the companies. The current workflows we're seeing today in the industry is that you have different specialized applications for each job. Fusion 360 offers all this in one integrated workflow. The integration of the operable code into Fusion 360 allows customers to orient their parts on the build plane, create support structures, and develop tool paths for 3D printing. By doing this within the CAD system, we allow the customer to make last minute changes to parametric designs, and these will update automatically. This allows people to have an inexpensive solution for metal additive manufacturing as well. If you go for high quantities, material cost is basically everything that matters. Uh, and if you go for low quantities, it's basically the machine cost that matters. And we want to get into that market offering a machine at very low cost, um, which allows you to produce parts um, 300 hours a year uh, and then you make profit out of it. What I love about Autodesk Fusion 360 is that they share the same spirit as LMI. We want to provide innovative and powerful technology to everybody. What if you didn't need to wait for the future to take advantage of all this technology? Well, you don't. It's here today and becoming increasingly accessible to mainstream manufacturers, as the LMI example just demonstrated. To wrap things up, there are three key themes that I see developing. Innovation. We're seeing innovation come about in new ways of applying additive manufacturing along with hybrid methods. And not just for auto and aerospace experiments, but across all industries with real products going into production. On-demand parts for shipbuilding, custom uh, fabrication for architecture, consumer product design like ski binding design shown here on this slide. We're also seeing a transformation. An additive isn't just changing the way we make things, it's fundamentally changing the way that we think about design. As we look at the amazing work our customers are doing with additive, hybrid, automation, and especially generative design, it becomes clear we're truly experiencing a digital transformation. Lastly is democratization. As the team at LMI explained so eloquently in the example, this technology is being democratized. More than ever, the technology is accessible, affordable, and real results are achievable. This gives me great hope for the future of making. Thank you so much for your time. I wish you all a very safe and happy year.